You are now listening to the Warp World Podcast. Boom shakalaka. Welcome, everybody, to the Warp World Podcast, episode 99. Wow. Whoa. Nueve, nueve. Here we are. 99. Nueve, nueve. It's, yeah. it's kind of crazy. Um, it's uh, Next week's 100. We'll talk about that a little bit because it is going to be very exciting uh, yeah. for some of us, I will say. <laughs> Some of us. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about that in, in just a bit. Uh, but, gentlemen, I mean, how are you doing? X-Water, you're, you're feeling well-rested, right? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm Grand Pooh Bear. Joining me, of course, is X-Water and Jacques. That's, yep, yep. You know, That's I, me. You know what? Both Actually, let's go to Jacques first since he, he respects <laughs> all of our time. Uh, if you're listening at home right now, X-Water is quite late, I want to say. Uh, quite late. So uh, we're going to talk to Jacques first. Almost an hour. Actually, exactly an hour. 39 uh, yeah. minutes was the time I saw when I, when I first hopped onto the computer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm. as if you were ready in, at that point in time. Either <laughs> yeah. way. You were like, what's way. news? Yeah. Either way, Jacques, how are you feeling this week? How is Lucky Draw going? Oh, my God. It's uh, not so lucky. I mean, <laughs> I've got over 400,000 deaths now. And I have not made a single iota of progress. I've I've had mine on since <laughs> last Thursday. Not streaming, yeah. but yeah, I've also 237 had it on. hours with four Wii U's. I, nothing. Yeah, I don't know. So that crazy. it's I ha- I had hope by the time we got back from sessions that mine on my single console would be done, and it wasn't. And I was like, fuck this game, dude. <laughs> I I didn't stream on Monday. I was yeah. I was like, uh, should Are you I just stream? let Lucky Draw go? Yeah. You, I was just like, it's a, it was a right I, I, choice, man. If you interrupted that, people would have been mad. Yeah. yeah <laughs> and like, I, I know I'm not streaming next week. So it's just, I'm like, I might as well not even stream like until like I get back from all those things. So mm-hmm. like, forget it. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, it's still going. I, I mean, I can, I can, should I get into the lore and the, the new updates of what's going on? Yeah. I, would, I feel I like we need for it. you too. Yeah, okay. I feel like we so there's something like 23 clears on the board right now, um, uh, 21 or 23. Uh, but what you need to know is that only two of them appear to be legit. Um, okay. So we have seven at least confirmed hackers. Obviously, Ninja um, was the first one that we, we all... Not that Ninja. <laughs> not, yeah, not that Ninja, though. Really been Although, going down since uh, the turn of Fortnite. Yeah, would would be impressive, though. Um so, so Ninja, not that Ninja, um, you know, cleared it 12 times. So there, there's, there's half the board. Um, the second user, again, uh, there was another user that only had eight deaths between when his profile was first scraped by uh, our website and when he beat the level. So only eight deaths, very unlikely. No one's come forward as a, uh, as a clear. Mm-hmm. Um, the third clear was done uh, by a user named Josh. Um, they have a photo of the correct time. We're counting that. That seems legit. They're in the community. Pretty cool. Uh, fourth user also cleared the level in uh, twice within five minutes of uh, of beating it. So obviously fake. There's no way you get that lucky twice. Um, it's 50-50. Fifth user, what do you mean? That's true. I forgot. Um, our fifth user, um, I don't remember their name off the top of my head, but they, they also had a photo of proof. Um, again, people were like, oh, I don't know if you can accept photos. Yeah, it was the right time. We're going to accept it. It's on the board. Six player. No proof on the board. No no idea of uh, deaths. The the amount of deaths they have seems about right. But we don't know. Um, So right now it's inconclusive. Um, Seventh player, though, this happened today. Another user um, cleared it three times today. um, And has like a combined total of like, I think like 100 deaths. So like, no. But also... Good thing to note, um, the Ninja World Record Time was removed from the bookmark site oh. and is replaced by it's replaced by the seventh player's time, though, which is around 10 seconds, which was around the original clear time for Ninja. So the next player that clears it will have their world record. If, if they legit clear it, will have the correct world record. Um, oh, so yeah. That's, that's good. Um, sucks for Josh and the others, but at least hopefully, you know, or get that updated. Um, so that's been lucky draw in in a hot minute. Um, it's oh, there's one other thing. Uh, a video leaked, not a, <laughs> leaked. Please. A video made the rounds today, um, showing someone getting all all six of those blocks turning to coins. 
but then also what are the music notes turning to coins? And so a lot of people thought that this was a legit video. And while I don't have definite proof that it's not, I'd like to point out a few things. Um, The user recorded this video using their phone. You could tell because they were hovering over the gamepad. Um, So, like, it was moving a lot. I thought it was Um, on a 3DS, this video, was it? No, No. this is on a gamepad. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. So they were recording a gamepad using their phone. Um, They were hovering over it. Um, They only show the very start of of the level and the very end of the level. They also cleared it offline in the course maker um and that's in the description of their bookmark or of, of their video so so and right off the can. bat if you're recording with your phone you're not holding your phone over that gamepad for all the runs that you're doing like yeah, that's no, just insane that's not legit um, i think that's just to show also, what it looks like probably by, by that's hitting all all the music note or all the question blocks and then the music note that's that goes from a set one in 7.2 million chance to a one in five or 50 million chance of that happening um I, which you is, guys can't hear me yeah i can't hear poo you can't yeah hear i me? also can't hear poo i saw his lips moving there and i was like what's happening here I feel, can I you feel hear like me now off. i don't i don't no. hear him <laughs> oh, still no. still still no poo we're uh we're experiencing some technical difficulties mm, can you yes. hear me now there we go there he is there we go. Sorry all right. for cutting you off all those no, times. No, you're <laughs> fine. You didn't cut me off because, uh, you know, it's all good. Um, yeah. yeah, no, that's – go on. <laughs> yeah, so so that 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 now is a 50, 1 in 50 million chance of actually happening, um, which seems very rare to have happened while you're filming with your phone. Um, yeah. So all those things combined just makes me believe that that's not legit. Um, there's, there's very little sh- chance that this is real. Um, another user also had created a video showing like what a look, what a win would look like, but he said that he did some RNG manipulation to get that in the editor as well. So I'm believing that, you know, it's, it's not real, um, unless the user can show proof otherwise showing like, you know, five runs before and five runs after, um, from that same video. Cause if you don't have that, like, or maybe you don't need five runs after, but if you yeah. don't have five runs before, like, what were you recording? Why do you just have that one shot? Yeah, at the very, very least, it's like, yeah, if you have only the one that was successful, like, you know what? I'm going to record this single attempt with my phone. Like, there's no way you're going to yeah. get it. Yeah. And and my, my thought process on this is if you're using um, memory manipulation on, on the Wii U, then you can manipulate it so that everything's a coin. But you're probably not able, you're, like, as a user or as a hacker, you're not you don't know how to change it back to the random thing quick enough in between attempts. And so you're like, oh, well, I'll just get a shot of this one level being completed in this one section. Mm-hmm. Um, and it will look legit. But if I show anything else, then it'd be a second clear with the same exact outcome. So yeah, that's my, to me. that's my thought process on it. It's, um, it's a very interesting. It's, it's been a very interesting thing. Yeah, I will say the the whole lucky draw. It's I'm amazed it's still going. I'm amazed we haven't seen like a legit clear from all this. There's still a lot of streamers doing it too. Besides you, um, yeah. You know, I I mean I still have mine on no clear. <laughs> X Water still has his on no clear. Uh, it's it's been really fun. Uh, the meme had died a little compared to what it was it last has. week. It Absolutely. has died a little, but you're still holding strong with a couple hundred viewers in there. Which yeah. is fucking wild, uh, yeah. in my opinion. And uh, so, props to all those viewers who are sticking it out. Uh, you know, I got, I got. You're, you're the real MVPs. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's pretty crazy. Um, we're, we're, we're see how it goes. You know, it's, it's a Twitch plays stream because you can make them jump. Um, and so it's just like any of those other streams on the internet now. Uh, <laughs> I'd say it's more interactive at that point than like Twitch plays Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, I don't it's, know it's, about that. what else can you do, right? Yeah. <laughs> duck, I guess. Yeah. But, you, could, uh, you could make him duck. I, I mean, I would love to see some spamming of duck. So mm, yeah, that would be hot. All right. I, I'll try to get on that. <laughs> yeah. How do you, you, you think you're going to get it before Mario Maker 2? I noticed you got that like percentage clear um odds at the bottom of the screen now that's like just rapidly declining as we get closer <laughs> yeah i don't know man it's it's tough i'm i'm guessing not um just like we were at 16 percent. we're at 13 percent now 
like it's going to go down to 10 percent once it drops under uh, 10 that's going to be disheartening yeah it's gonna it's gonna be crazy um i don't know though we're, we're what is this this is our 237 um <laughs> with four we use i don't know <laughs> How hot just, has your your room gotten running all those um, we use? Honestly, not too bad. No? Um, I did yeah, my CPU runs at around uh 55 60 degrees Celsius right now, which isn't too bad for what it's doing and the the we use have been about the same temperature um since I turned them on a little about an hour after I turned them on they've been about the same, so That's crazy. It's been pretty good and we've had some not too hot days, so luckily luckily I got the weather going with me on this. Yeah, good thing summer's been not doing its job so far. Absolutely. <laughs> Love it. Oh, man. All right, well, Xwater, how are you doing? I mean, now that we have the full Lucky Draw rundown. Um, well, yeah, like you said, like we said, I'm well-rested. Um, I'm 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 late, so I must have formally apologized to both you guys and everybody watching live on Twitch. Ha-ha! <laughs> Boom! That was a, that was a great uh, sorry a plug. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, that was a two for one. That was, that's yeah. master. That's master work right there. Yeah. But nice. other than that, I'm good. I just uploaded a new Mario Maker level that I wanna I wanna delete and re-upload after watching a single person play it. So that's my life. So <laughs> don't play your Mario Maker level. Uh, yeah, I think I gotta fix this piece of it particularly before before you play it because it breaks a lot harder than I ever thought it would. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. All right, it's jank, is what I'm hearing. I, I don't mind a little jank. It's yeah, a little, a little bit jank. It it has to do with like, you know, when you want a chain chomp peg to not have the chain chomp, so you put a bomb next to it, and you have the mm -hmm. bomb explode. But the way that it's done for my level is like, the the chain chomp and the bomb aren't on the same vertic or on, aren't on the same horizontal axis. Like they're one tile apart. So if you like slowly creep up to the part or creep up too fast, everything just breaks. Like the bomb doesn't mm. explode at the right time, the munchers don't land in the right places, depending on how fast or slow you go into the zone. So it's a little bit jank there, and it's a lot of like weird moving pieces that work pretty well in the rest of the level, except for there. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Well, yeah, I, I, I don't know anything about jank levels, so <laughs> yeah. I have no idea what you're talking about. I only make the beautiful, beautiful levels. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're you're speaking to two people that just make perfect levels with no jank at all. <laughs> no jank at all. Um, you know, you know where I don't expect many levels to be jank though. Where? Oh, where's that at? That would be uh, at the Mario Maker Invitational, which our good friend of the stream, well, of the podcast, good was good friend until she until she lied to us. <laughs> is wow. going to be there. I, it, I I was hurt because I feel like she does. That means she didn't trust us to keep a secret. Um, yeah. but I, we're at the same time, I'm, I'm so incredibly happy and ecstatic for her. And I'm, I'm so excited that she, uh, is getting the opportunity to go. Um, yeah. so, yeah. um, yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm super pumped about it. You know, I'm super happy. It's coming yeah, up no. this Saturday, right? Yeah. This, this Saturday. Saturday. So yes. all those listeners on Twitch right now, remember to set your, your clocks and your calendars. Can you set a calendar? I don't know, mark it in your calendars. There we go. Um, about sat this Saturday for the Invitational. Because, um, yeah, Dragon Fiend is going to rock it. You guys want to put money down on this? Yo, I'll play some bets. Oh, man. X I mean, water bed. I, mean, I got, I mean, I got 50, on Feeny, on yeah, I I got 50 on Feeny. Yeah, I got 50 on Feeny, too. We're oh, all going nice. to bet on Feeny. Who do we give our money nice. to if Feeny loses? I'm not going to um, bet against Feeny, so. Our, our, you know what? Our take it, and we'll put it in our in our funds. For Warp World, <laughs> so if we if we so all we're lose, just, we're just putting more money into Warp World. I see. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Great. Can't, we can't lose. We can't lose. So win win. There you go. Um, super worth it. Yeah, but we're super excited for her to go. Um, yeah. Like we couldn't be more ecstatic. Of course, we're all jealous. We're not going to get to go too and play Mario sure. Maker early uh, in a, in a tournament setting. Uh, but we we can't wait. I'm actually doing a stream. I'm going to co stream it on Saturday. And uh, nice. I've had I have my users like make a bunch of like silly um, like silly things, uh, gifts and like uh, go fiend photoshops that we're nice. going to be flashing up. I'm going to rock my Feeny shirt and my Feeny hoodie and like we're just going to be like super pumped. Um, I'm super yeah. excited. And, and uh, you know, I can't wait to see. Her. Also, she has a really good chance of winning that thing because she does. 
I I've seen Fiend play. She's pretty damn good. I've seen the other players play, and uh, I take Fiend over him. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so uh, there, one player might give her uh, a little trouble, but I, I think if she, I think she's better as long as she, you know, stays stays strong, doesn't get nervous, you know, doesn't let the nerves get to her because it is yeah. it's such a you know such it's, a big event. You know, I've yeah. played at a ton of different events, and I would be nervous as fuck to play at this. Uh, yeah, this I can see that. Thing. I mean, Especially she's been with, playing like, for a new game. Yeah, she's been playing for three years. So as long as the new game is along the same lines of like physics and stuff, like, and I don't think they're going to be throwing that out the window. Uh, she should be more than fine because like just that three years of experience. These other people have not been playing the game for that long. Hmm. They might have. Yeah. They might be better at certain other games, but like Fiend's got this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the the one thing I really thought would be her advantage and uh, is the fact that she would know like, oh, this item interacts with this item in this way, but. You know, I, there's a strong chance she just she doesn't even see any items that are from Mario Maker One True. in this entire race. Yeah. So uh, she's gonna have to be learning on the fly. It, it is. It's gonna be really fun. Um, I'm super excited about it. I'm sure Feeny is yeah. probably watched. Like she's watched a lot of the Mario like two review videos and the advanced gameplay screenings that like Game Explain and other review companies have gotten. So I'm sure she's like dug up as much info as she can at this point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm almost tempted to not watch and then try to play the levels blind myself um, when Mario Maker Two comes out. Uh, I mean, they'll, those they'll definitely be in, included at some point. Right? Yeah, those yeah. levels are probably yeah. going to be pretty like tame. Yeah, like I, I don't like at the end of the day, I feel like it's going to be super easy. Yeah. Um. So it's like not even really worth it. Um. And and it's again like Poop mentioned like being on stage and then playing at home two completely different things. Mm-hmm. So like. I wouldn't be nervous at all. I'd be like, oh, yeah, I'm at home. This is fine. But, like, same same thing on the stage. I could be like, oh, shit. I forgot how to jump. Yeah. I feel like the audience for – is there is going to be a live audience, right? Yeah. They got I would some, have to think so. Some yeah. people out there. I thought it was – Nintendo fans. I thought it was weird that it was, like, before the actual conference starts because yeah. I was stoked about going to it. I know. I was really hoping. Like, I, I wish like that, and that sucks because like we kind we didn't know. Yeah. But if we had known, because we we could get in on Sunday, but we opt to go to E three on Monday. Mm-hmm. Um, because like, ah, oh, there's nothing to do. Totally would have flown in for that. Yeah. Um, early. Yeah, but I would have gone a few days early know. for sure. Already gonna be yeah. there, so. Yeah. Would have been useful. Uh, just well, just saying, fiend. Well, you know, uh, <laughs> at least you guys are going to get to go to E3, which which brings us to the salty moment of the week. The salty oh, moment man. of the week? You mean the salty moment sponsored by Mary Ann's Chocolate? That's that my is, favorite. That is what I mean. It's my favorite moment of the week. <laughs> um, <laughs> salty moment of the week, ladies and gentlemen, brought to you by Mary Ann's Chocolate. You can go to coins.warp.world, which will bring you to Mary Ann's Chocolate's website, where you can get warp coins. They're delicious little coins, little discs of chocolate, probably about the size of a. What did we decide last week? How big mayonnaise are they? Lid. They're the size mayonnaise of a lid. Texas. They're the size of a Texas belt buckle. <laughs> oh, <now> that's <laughs> there a, you go. That's a big coin. I tell you what. Yeah. Um, say you, uh, yeah. And so if you go to the coins.warp.world, use code WARP. You can get yourself a pack of 12 individually wrapped coins. Uh, it's going to be $5 off using code WARP. They can be dark chocolate, they can be milk chocolate, or they can be a mix match pack. So check it out. Uh, go check out Mary Ann's. And Mary Ann's, thank you for bringing us to this week's salty moment of the week. I'll let you go ahead and take the, take the lead here, Pooh. What's got you salty? Uh, I'm not, I don't get to go to E3. Everyone's going to E3. <laughs> All my friends are going to E3, except me. Except me, damn it. <laughs> and I really want to go to E3, and I'm, and I'm quite salty about it. Not only that, but you guys will both be there for episode 100 together. Yeah, Woo! yeah. yeah, yeah. It's going to be really I, cool. I, I wish you were going to yeah, be there, dude. I know. I know. You guys, I, I mean... I don't even I don't even know if I'm going to be on episode 100 as of right now because yeah, we might it doesn't the make much, the only reason I would be on this cuz generally when we when we film live there's two of us together we'll film it live and we just film it together that's that's how we've traditionally done mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. um and I mean you guys will be at E3 in a special space 
for the podcast. Yeah, like, we're recording on the floor of E3 on Thursday. Um, I believe at 3 p.m. local time. I think X-Water's got the time. I sent it to him. Yeah, I think you said uh, um, one local. Yeah, one local. That's right. Yeah. So, yeah, 1 p.m. local Thursday, um, which is crazy because I don't know. I don't know if you guys remember. There was a few episodes back that um, we had some big surprise announcement. I'm like, we're recording live on the floor of E3. <laughs> and it was a joke. I <laughs> But here it's real now. We got an email today confirming that we are able to record live on the floor. That's so uh, incredible. Sometimes, cool. sometimes you just have to yeah. manifest manifest it, you know? Like Yeah. I, I'm sure our editors are gonna love the audio quality. Oh that we yeah. Give them. Oh, it's gonna be um, great for them. It's it's supposed to be a, a nice little booth though, so it should be pretty good. Yeah. Hopefully. Honestly, I think um, the the whir and hum and noise of like E three in the background would make for a good listen either way. Yeah. And, and, you know, we might make it episode 99.9 or 99.5, <laughs> and then we'll do something special for episode 100. That's actually a good idea. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, that's, like, that's definitely the most special thing our podcast has ever done, you know? And, and uh, I mean, if, it, if, if I didn't do, if we didn't do sessions and then GDQ, I, and I didn't yeah. have this baby, I would totally be there. But, yeah. you know, like, it, I'm a new so dad. I can't be going yeah. every week all out to places, you know? It's bad enough I'm at the strip club every night till 4 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny only Tuesdays. Only E3 at the strip club. Yeah, <laughs> if only we could do um, E3 at the, or, yeah, or podcast yeah. at the strip club, that's what we'll do. Yeah, we'll but yeah, no, it's, it's, it's exciting. I mean, I, you know, may, there's, there's hope. Maybe, maybe you, you get a flight and then you come out just for the day and leave right after who knows we got we got to like you know i got to like nancy kerrigan the completionist j-rod and and uh, <laughs> get the mario maker invitational that's what i need to do you know? yeah um yeah take it take them out for me fiend like that's that's what i need they need a, a late call in um yeah so yeah. I, it's it's i who, you know who knows stranger things have happened uh, the video game industry is really wild. So, like, somebody could call me up and be like, "We need you out here now." <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know who it is. I don't it's, even know who it's, it is. It's Doug Bowser. It could. Who knows? It could. Yeah, it could I happen. hope we get to meet him. Oh, let's let's invite him to be on the podcast. <gasps> you guys should just invite him to be on the podcast. <laughs> that would be episode one hundred, the Bowser takeover. I would fly out for that then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That We're would have three mics. That would be amazing. <laughs> God, I would poop a brick and also yeah. be super, you know, just like nervous about what the oh, fuck yeah. Jakku's gonna ask <laughs> Bowser, you know. <laughs> so how many so Doug, people what, did you have to kill to become president? Yeah. yeah. Oh no, Doug, I mean that's, what's that's up still with the bookmarks tame. like. That's yeah. still tame. So, what would what would be not tame? Oh man. <laughs> See, I, it's all, I can't, you can't, you can't I say can't it figure out it. Because you would have to bring well, up like details about Doug Bowser only you know. Right, and like it's all you know, it's all spur of the moment sort of thing. Like some some thought pops into my head, I say it then. Like I can't think about what I would say. I got to be in the moment. That's fair. Yeah, you know? that would be that would be a hell of a moment. That'd be hard to like keep composure interviewing Doug Bowser. Well, yeah. I do hope you guys find some silly person to interview. You know what I mean? Like I, yeah. I do hope someone that really has n you know no business coming on our small podcast, <laughs> listened by millions and millions of viewers. Um, I mean, yeah. what's Reggie up to? He's not doing anything, right? What yeah. is he up to? I, he's I, probably I agree with that. It, do you think he's going to be at E three? I know, like, he's no longer with Nintendo, but no, I feel like probably, yeah. If I had just left Nintendo, I'd be like, yo, E three. This is the first one I don't have to go to in like yeah. six, ten years or whatever. I'd sixteen skip. years, probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. He'd probably skip this one. He might show up next year. Yeah, I'm sure he'll get nostalgia for it and come back at some point. But yeah. Fresh yeah, out the gate, he's he's like chilling on a yacht or a golf course or what what yeah. other what other things do rich people do? Right, I don't that's know. That's pretty, those are the only two things I think. Yeah, rich but yeah, do. also like at the end of the day, you know, he's gonna be um, he doesn't he's he he's not he's not trying to take Doug Bowser's spotlight. Yeah, and so if he was there, no. he would be taking it, and that's just not yeah. Reggie. No, that's not Reggie. I, I, that's yeah, not my I, boy I Reg. Think, I don't think we'll see Reggie much anymore outside of like occasional tweets that he puts out. I, I honestly just don't see, I definitely don't see him going to any other video game company and I don't see him taking like a public role in something else. So 
Yeah, I don't know. I think he's just I think he's just gonna relax and retire. He seems like a good dude. He's probably a family man. Um, yeah. you know, once he's spent a lot of time away in his life, he probably just wants to like, you know, kick it and sure. hang yeah. out. Um Yeah, I feel yeah, that I mean, seems fair. How much money can you really use? You know, like he, you can only work. I feel like it's, I don't get how some of these people, these rich dudes, like work till they're 70, 80 years old, man. I would, I'd be out spending my money on silly shit, you know? Yeah. Buying jet yep. skis and, you know, getting my grandkids ice cream. Yeah. At but that like, point, I think like making money is like a turn on for them. They're like, all right, this year, yeah. how many billions? Oh. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, when, when when you're around that much money and like that's all like all these other people are making this much money, that becomes like your your self worth, uh, you know, and like it just becomes part of it, and it, it sucks because you know they might not have started off that way, but once you get to you know over a certain amount, that's all people seem to care about um, in that world, and so you feel like you're useless if you're not making at least that much. Mm-hmm. I say right now, if I get. You know Reggie money. What is he probably? He probably made like two million a year. You know for a while. I'm, I'm done. Yeah. Put me. No, I mean. Yeah. I tell you guys, if if you know Warp World crowd control ever starts making fifty billion dollars a week and and uh, we all we all start getting these six figure uh, assets, I'm I'm gonna just warn you guys like mm, yacht life for me real quick. We can start those yacht races. Yeah. That'll be our next Twitch extension where you guys oh, can yeah. all. Bet on which one of our yachts will beat the other one. Well, I wanted yeah. Twitch to be able to control tanks, real <laughs> physical tanks. So, like, I've got the next stage. I mean, Mixer has money. small, yeah, small tanks, you know? Yeah. I want, yeah. like, real, like, real, I want real, real tanks. tanks. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, rich people, p- rich people would pay money for a tank to be unleashed, in, un- unleashed into the unleashed. city. Yeah. Unleashed. We'd, yeah, I would, we'd have to yeah. build, like, we'd have to build, like, mini cities. You know, yeah. Like I mean, for the tank to blow up. I don't. I don't know. Depending on how much money you got, we could do a real city. Yeah, okay. that's not Game of Thrones wrong. prop city. <laughs> Morally, it <laughs> might be, fair. but <laughs> fair. we'll we'll, we'll fair. find There's some no small morals like hundred person okay. town and be like, how much do each one of you want? Ten years. I'm really thinking that I want to be out of the company by the time we're doing this. Um, with all due respect. <laughs> I usually, World usually CEO I'm like, arrested for releasing yeah. tanks in the city of Chicago. Yeah. Uh, no, but I, I called I think... them not a tank, guys. It's fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Not a That's, tank. It's not a tank. It's It was an all-terrain vehicle. All-terrain vehicle. Yeah. With cannons. With cannons. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh. All right. Anyway, well, I'm salty. Speaking of pivoting. Pivoting, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, speaking of yeah. pivoting. Uh, we got to talk about Blizzard real quick. Uh, they canceled their StarCraft first-person shooter, which I didn't know was coming out at Same. all. Same. Yeah. Uh, yeah, at all. But they did that to shift more development over to their Diablo and Overwatch teams. The mobile Diablo, right? Mm, I'm pretty sure this is Diablo Diablo, um, but oh. I, I feel like the mobile Diablo is just part of their uh, their thing. It seems like they're maybe trying to focus their IPs in, in a few less places, I want to say, you know? Sure. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely not. I, I definitely don't see Blizzard is not seeing the value of, of like an, a game that's not being able to make money forever. I feel like Blizzard is definitely only games as a service now. Yeah, you know? yeah. StarCraft yeah. doesn't really seem like part of RTS. Doesn't really seem like part of Blizzard's future. Like they're gonna mad bank off of the re-release of Warcraft Three, but that's easy yeah. enough. That's nostalgia. That's just a redo. Um, yeah, yeah. I because there was another StarCraft like FPS or third-person shooter, StarCraft Ghost, back in the day that got canceled oh too. My God. Right, early two thousands. Yeah, yeah. Was like GameCube. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. how yeah. StarCraft's got to feel bad, man. They've gotten two canceled shooter games at this point, at least because nobody That's wants just the it. Ones we know I of. guess. Yeah. Yeah, I, don't I mean, know. I don't. I, you know yeah. what I do want? World of StarCraft. That oh. would be cool as shit. That would be awesome. That would, I would be, be really very cool. in on that. I would play. It right. could be like Eve, but better. That would, yeah. 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 Doing yeah. Pl- like multiple planets would be hard to work. I like in the same way that, you know, this you're just on one world, so World of Warcraft's pretty contained and easy to take in. 
But if you're jumping planet right. to planet, that might make it a little more tough. Mm, yeah. I mean, you just have some sort of... Worlds fast, of StarCraft. Yeah, yeah that's fast fair. Fast travel mechanism, some sort of spaceship. I mean, that could be part of the whole thing is you have to acquire a spaceship or acquire travel. Some on sort a of StarCraft. Yeah, some sort of crafting wow. the stars. Yeah, exactly. Wow. I think there's ways around this. Um, I mean, like I think of like the two Star Wars MMOs, and those work just fine. Um, you know, and they had the they have the same issue. Mm-hmm. Uh, or you limit it to one world, and and you know, just it's one yeah. invaded at war world, and it's taking place in some time that the RTS, you know, store, lore wise, that the RTS never has. Yeah. Which I think is what World of Warcraft does. Like, it's just lore-wise, just, like, hundreds of years different, right? I think they overlap um, in some ways. I'm not well, sure. Well, I'm a liar then. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I think there's ways to do that. I, I think it's, what's interesting is it. I'm wondering what else they're doing with Diablo. Like, I'm, I'm wondering what the next right. Diablo is going to look like, you know? I think it'll uh, definitely, yeah. be, definitely be for consoles right out of the gate this time. They've found a lot of success with Diablo 3 on consoles, yeah, I, I I hope it's on all that. I I hope we get actual procedurally generated dungeons, um, mm-hmm. this time around too. Did they yeah. take that out for Diablo three? Yeah. yeah, I don't. Yeah, yeah. they uh, they showed off early trailers and early like video concepts of the of the game showed that, but then when we got the actual game, yeah, no, that was out the window. Oh wow. Um, at least I, they have the rifts and stuff that are kind of right. Like I think that, the rifts. Yeah, that's post game yeah, content. The rifts kind of exactly. The rifts replaced that, but like, come on. I want to go into a dungeon and not know where I'm going. I hope the writing is, is a little better if they do Diablo yeah. 3. I was I'm disappointed the with the ending of 3. I'm the tactician. I'm going to tell you my entire plan the whole time you're coming towards me. Ah, ah, Just stay ah. a while and listen. I'm the master of back. lies. Look. Here's a lie. Yeah. <laughs> bring, bring me back, uh, Dr. Kane. Yeah. Oh, man. Dude, yeah. how are they going to kill I mean, off the coolest character in Diablo in, I like, know. the first three hours of the game and not even, like, have a main... Like, the villain who kills Deckard Kane, you take care of in, like, another hour. It's like, okay, I guess mm-hmm. that's done. Like, it made it feel so insignificant when he was the coolest dude. Yeah, and then you kill his uh, granddaughter or whatever. Too far, man. Spoilers. Too far. Spoilers. <laughs> I was going to say, man, look at all you. We're just killing our entire non-spoiled Diablo audience yeah. here, All three of them, I mean, yeah. Yeah, we yeah. just lost the three people that haven't played a Diablo <laughs> game. Um, yeah, I mean, three was three was good. I enjoyed three. I don't want to say I enjoyed it as much as two, but I'm also just older and enjoyed games differently in mm-hmm. different styles. You yeah. Know? So I, I, I don't know if that's what it is. It definitely didn't feel like three was, like, better than two in any way, even graphically, which is something I wish you could say considering the games came out, you know, like, nine years apart oh more than that that. yeah 10 years apart yeah it's gonna be i mean by this point when we finally get diablo 4 it's gonna be you know almost 10 years since diablo 3 honestly like diablo Mm -hmm. 3 came out a long time ago uh for pc that was that was one of the first games where i really remember like being super fucking pissed off i couldn't play at midnight because online was bored (laughs) Um, yeah so I, I'm curious where they're, they're going to do it. I'm curious to see how Blizzard's going to try and monetize it forever the way they do all their other games. You know, if they're going to try and, like, overwatch it and give you seasons. and Yeah. Yeah. You do have seasons like in Diablo 3 right now, but I can't. And, I don't think of how. I don't yeah. know how you make money. I don't know how they make money off those seasons. Yeah, I mean, the auction house is gone. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know. I think they have some I, I mean, in-game I, skins you can buy maybe, but oh, that's gross. Yeah. Gross. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, that's that does seem like that's something Blizzard wants to forever do. Yeah, you know, Blizzard's that's, not that's gonna release a, a game that you can't do microtransactions in. Like that's just yeah. not yeah. happening. They're they're nickel and dime at everyone in the I mean that's that's how they, they get away with it because they make very engaging experiences, you know. So Yeah. You know, kudos, kudos to Blizzard. I'm I'm excited to see what they have to do. Sucks you guys suck at making first person shooters, I guess. So yeah. Except I mean Overwatch <laughs> turned out pretty good. <laughs> Okay, oh, Overwatch did turn out pretty good. Yeah. Starcraft base first position. <laughs> I have to think. I have to think like oh, Overwatch just kind of like it's. It might seem like a bit like you're hitting the same genre at that point. You know, Overwatch is not not futuristic. You know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it it does have some futuristic feelings to it. I guess so. I I could see where maybe they didn't want to just like 
ape their own IP at that point. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's the greatest game ever, and we'll see it in a completely different form. Yeah. Or it'll be one of those cool games that's lost forever, you know? Yeah. The future of StarCraft is looking pretty pretty dim, if you ask me. But Ooh, we've, see seen, there. we've seen the future of another um, interesting space-based title, uh, and that's Destiny 2, which is now going to be <laughs> brought free-to-play, renamed like to... What's it going to be called now? Destiny 2 New Light? Um, Seems weird. Seems like the okay. same name. It seems like the same name, yeah, but okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought that was interesting. They just added a, you know, a, yeah. a subtitle to it. But right. the big things are it's going free to play. It's eliminating PS4 exclusive content. It's getting cross saves. And it's moving from Battle.net to Steam. Ooh. Which I thought was... That's probably the biggest thing. Interesting. Yeah. So it's going to... I don't know, something like all of the previous content for the game will be free to play. And then all of the like anything after like one year after the game was released, any DLC at that, like from that point forward will still require like, you know, buying DLC expansion packs and all that stuff. I'm not buying shit. Have you yeah. ever played Destiny? Um, no, I and I, I have Destiny 2 for free because at one point last year, I think. Congratulations. Was, so does all of us now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, what I'm saying is, like, so, like, they gave it away for free for, like, a week if mm-hmm. you downloaded it, and I didn't play it then, and it was still rather new, and I'm like, eh, I'll never get to it. Yeah. I was interested uh, a little bit, because I had a few friends that played Destiny 1 a lot, and I was like, oh, if it comes to PC, maybe I'll play it, and Destiny 2 came out, I'm like, I don't got time for this. Yeah, if they um, hit me in my, like... A few years ago, I would have gotten into Destiny, but yeah. I'm too into I'm too into jumping on shit now. Yeah, I'm too into this ball and cup. <laughs> cup yeah, and ball is a good I mean, game. I, Destiny yeah. One was so weird for me because I was very hyped on. I'm a, I'm a huge Halo fan, and uh, so I was I was obviously excited to play more Bungie stuff. And then I'm like, first person MMO. That sounds really fun. In my mind, I'm picturing EverQuest, but with like real time combat. You know, instead of you know press a button and shit happens. I I was just severely disappointed in Destiny One. So much like with this, the such the uh, felt like there was just a lack of content in there, yeah. and it's just harder for me to play these. And even and I would say this about Diablo too. It's harder for me to play these games where I'm playing the same missions over and over just to get slightly better loot. Yeah. So I can play those same missions over and over just to get slightly better loot. Yep. That, you know, like it's it's not it doesn't do it for me anymore the way it did five, ten years ago. I need to be unlocking more than more loot, you know, sure. whatever that is. I'm more story, more access, more, I don't know. It just, that's not enough of a carrot for me to just, like, get a bigger, better gun. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's fair. No, you know, it's... and and, and that's, that is ultimately, like, my problem with Destiny and, and now the Diablo franchise, I mean, now that we were yeah. talking about it. But, yeah, uh, uh, going in the future. And I, I don't... I don't know how they get away from that at all, you know? Yeah. yeah. It, it's tough to get away from that because that's what a lot of these people do like doing. Mm-hmm. People um, love the grind. And, yeah. I, I I never got it. Like, you know, uh, Call of Duty games, like the prestiging. Like, I'm like, why would you do that? You got all the stuff. You're good. Um, yeah. And when you lose it all once you prestige, don't you? Yeah. You this... get to keep, like, you get to, you could have an extra slot and you get, like, a star. It's uh-huh. like, oh, okay, cool. I don't need that, though. Um I'm not a big fan of grinding. I don't have time to do that, but I understand a large portion of people do. And so maybe we're, these games just aren't for us anymore. These are um, games, I think, yeah. yeah, designed for people who are looking to fill a lot of time. Yeah. And that's not us. <laughs> yeah. I, it's I, definitely filled, not though. us. I, this is off off our topics, but uh, Final Fantasy XI, Square Enix, they just uploaded uh, the original trailer of the game. It's like a nine-minute trailer or something to their YouTube channel uh, two days ago or so. Yeah. Um, and like it was on their website for the longest time, but now it's actually on their official YouTube channel out of nowhere, mind you. But like watching that trailer, it reminded me a lot of that game. And I'm like, how is it like 19 years later? And I still want to play this game again. And that game is very grindy, but Mm -hmm. like, I think like that's an exception. I think these older games that we played, I know Pooh played EverQuest. He'd pick that back up in a heartbeat. I feel like, um, he'd go and grind again, but like, I don't want to do that with new games. I want to do it with old games. Yeah, games I have the nostalgia factor. Yeah, yeah. It, it's really a lot. 
Yeah, it's 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 kind of weird. I don't know. It's just uh, there's just it just doesn't seem like like grinding a speed run. I get better at the speed run. Like grinding for yeah. a fictional gun in a game that I know will be obsolete when the third one comes out, and I'll have to just get more fictional guns. I don't know. It it is it's harder for me. Yeah, yeah. To justify, it's I, like it's it, not even like uh you know like something like in an MMO where you're getting like I want to compare it to like EverQuest. Where you kind of had to grind to get a certain level, and then it unlocks like the ability to get your epic, you know. And that was pretty much like once you got your epic weapon, it was over. And then you know you want to play with your epic weapon for a little bit, but like that's it, it's over. And that's what that's all Destiny is. It's just forever, just trying to get your epic weapon over. And I don't know. It's it's different. It's just a it's a weird grind. Yeah. That yeah. yeah. I think I, I think those know. games are a lot more of the it's about the journey, not the destination, kind of feeling you know about the destiny yeah. the destiny i i you know what i, I would compare it? it's kind of like playing a slot machine yeah. versus it's very yeah. much it's like, like playing, playing a, a slot machine yeah it's like playing a slot machine versus uh you know playing blackjack and and that would be my my like opinion of it like the gameplay versions of that you know so yep and not that they say there's like no skill involved in destiny obviously there's tremendous skill involved in destiny uh, so, uh, you know, I'm not trying to insinuate any, anything like that. It's just a, I don't know, just different. It just, it just doesn't hit me for whatever reason. Yeah. Yeah. I get you. I get you. Um, yep. yeah. I heard that Destiny's coming to Google Stadia. Stradia. St- yeah. I think it's Stradia. I, I don't know though. I think there's, I think it's Stadia. Stradia. Stadia. I mean, Google's streaming service. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's yeah. what that game, Stadia's already confirmed to have like Assassin's Stradius? Creed, Sasadia, but it's listed as cross save support for for Google's service. So I'm guessing it's coming to that too. Yeah, um, they they announced today that um, it's going to come out in November for 130 USD. Wait, Google Stadia? Uh, yeah. Oh. So oh. you get you get their little box and their controller. Um, and you can pre-order right now, like the the founder edition or something like that. Ah, yes, the and, one that's surely going to be worse than all the other editions. Right, and I like so. Here's here's a question for you guys. Like, so like this is a system that is essentially a connection to a online service. Like, does that like who cares, right? Like about the founder's edition on that one. Like, it, it's not going to offer anything different than the real one or mm-hmm. a different one later on. It seems yeah. kind of silly. Um, to, to like and this is a pre-order so like i was tempted uh you know the 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 technology person in me that wants the new stuff was like like oh i should just buy it and then i have it in november but then i'm like you know what no i'm trying to i'm trying to cut back on that garbage so let's not let's wait to see about things so i can you know all i want to do is review it anyways so i can wait um but yeah this it's, it's a new world this google stradia thing um it's gonna be weird, but it eats up your data. Uh, something like uh, 4K video being streamed down to you will eat up like how much bandwidth was that in an it's hour? A terabyte. A yeah. terabyte in uh, 65, 65 hours. 65 hours. Yeah. That doesn't seem so bad, right? That actually doesn't that seem well, so bad. That'd be four terabytes in the time that it's had me play uh, Lucky Draw. <laughs> so yeah. That's about nine days. So if you played nine days of this straight, you would hit four terabytes. So that's not terrible. But you have to remember a lot of U.S. Um, people do have caps now yeah. at about one terabyte. Um, and so that's, that's pretty interesting. Um, so I don't know if the U.S. is necessarily ready for this with, the, with their own, with number one, caps, but also the bandwidth. Um, which is a minimum of 35 megabits per second, which isn't too bad. Most most homes will have that nowadays. Um, DSL users, you're, you're DSL users. You're not listening to this. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like if you're doing 720p, you might even be able to coast along on 10 megabits download too, which not, no, that's, that's not bad that's at all. Super, that's super doable for your average like internet cable internet connection, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, DSL could even potentially get up to that yeah. uh, without too much trouble. So, yeah, that's not too bad. Um, 
the latency is going to be the biggest. Like, exactly. Yeah, speed's, speed's important, but latency is going to be super important. There's a bandwidth test site that you can already go to and check it out to see if you are ready for this service. Um, I don't have the link for you guys. This is a podcast. Google it. <laughs> <laughs> so I love like that. You click it. Uh, <laughs> We all know you're not going to go and do it while you're listening anyways. So just remember for it later. I, um, I'm confused yeah. about their subscription service that they offer. It comes with the founder service optionally for $10 a month. It lets you stream up to 4K as opposed to the base version that lets you stream 1080p. And it gives you 5.1 stereo surround compared to the free one that's just regular stereo. But other than that, I don't see what else you get for this yeah. subscription unless you get like access to the games early um but yeah. that's yeah like i don't i wouldn't stream at 4k um if i was to use this i would use 1080p and i'd probably use surround sound just be, or uh you know stereo because at the end of the day like uh it's not gonna be great i don't want to i don't want to have the game accidentally stutter because i decided i want to have higher resolution on it mm-hmm. um yeah i would be way too stressed out about that yeah, it seems like the smart play is to just run it at 1080p or 720p even. Um, and depending on what you're playing on, like, I guess your TV probably has 4K nowadays, but a lot of people, monitors still are 1080p because it took us a long time to get, uh, you know, consumer monitors to a point where the average consumer was getting something past 1080p. Yeah. I was going to say, I don't have a 4K monitor. I have a 1080p monitor. Neither, you know, neither one of my monitors. I have a 4K TV. I've never watched anything in 4K. But I have it. I've got everything uh, on 1080p right now too. Yeah, I want to yeah. get a nice 4K I, TV eventually, though. I kind of, I kind of want to get one of those like, like cool wide monitors. You know, those are yeah. awesome. I'd have one of those if I didn't stream. I have, I have two. Well, why does, what does streaming have to do with it? I feel like I'm like if I'm playing a PC game, I want to play it in ultra wide. But if I'm streaming it, I need to stream that game in 1080p, or in but 16 you, by 9 resolution at the very least. You I just mean, gotta you do window. Put it in sixteen. Yeah, you put it in. Yeah, 16 you just gotta do window, window mode. I guess. Like I do. That works, but that kind of takes away the purpose of having the ultra wide. Yeah, but, but when you're streaming, yeah, you gotta make like, compromises. <laughs> like I have two two K monitors that I use, and I have one 1080p hooked up, and so like I do 720p when I'm usually playing games, and it takes up one small section of my <laughs> one monitor, and then I got my chat and all my alerts there, and then I got like OBS on the other window and other things, and then I got even more things on the other monitor. It's crazy. Um, I definitely highly suggest like at least 2K monitors nowadays, but the ultra wides do look nice. Um, I do like having the different windows though, uh, physically separated for being able to actually separate windows easily. Um, Mm -hmm. And like, be like, all right, this is all coding stuff. All right, this is all Twitch stuff. All right, this is, you know, useless stuff. This one's porn. Exactly. (laughs) But yeah, Who would so. watch porn on their computer? <laughs> yeah, come on. You can't even get 4K on there. <laughs> uh, talk wide. about things you I really... don't need to see in 4K. <laughs> right. There you go. <laughs> Says you. <laughs> Says you. I'm all about that. Actually, no, I remember. <laughs> I'm not going to. Okay, this is, this is a weird story. But in college, I remember the first. We got. Uh, this is before, you know, Pornhub was a thing. So we actually went to a store and bought. HD high def porn on a DVD and I'll never forget like putting it in and being like nope I could have totally stayed in non high def for my porn like that was <laughs> little too much detail for me I wouldn't say this was the most professionally done one I was good on that that was that was the last I think that was the last DVD I even bought too which is kind of funny <laughs> That's um funny. yeah good story I know this is very appropriate for our family friendly uh podcast right here our for millions, millions of Twelve-year-old viewers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, let's. Uh, the final thing about Stradia. Uh, that was a good transition, and so I'm sorry to kill that, Jaku. Right. Uh, sorry. Fine, we'll do it Thanks one more time. Thanks for calling it out, though. So, yeah. you know. <laughs> that was such a good transition. Now we'll remember it. Thing. Now we'll remember to get yes. back. Are you? Is there anything that can get you guys to buy Stradia at this point? Um. um exclusive yeah. games. Uh, mobile providers. Uh. And ISPs in the United States upping their game and actually giving us the bandwidth for it. Hey, if okay. I if fair. I could if I could play these games on my mobile phone, um, like if I could play any PC game basically on my phone with a controller, hell yeah, that'd be cool. Like, I know it's not gonna be the real experience, but it'd be pretty good. 
It'd be pretty mm. good to play some of these games anywhere. Okay. Yeah, so uh, you're fucked, Google. Good lady. You yep. know what? Actually, Google, you're the one person that has the power to make this happen. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> to get Jaku to buy a, a Stradia. All it'll take is a deep investment into America's infrastructure. And, uh, you know, I'm sure that's totally doable by you yeah, guys. Super easy for them. Super easy. Uh, going back to all our millions and millions of listeners, we, we probably have a few kid listeners, right? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Little babbies. Statistically. Statistically, yeah. it makes sense. As, as Jaku said, maybe some 12 year olds listen to us. And uh, that's going to bring us to this week's hot take. Hot take. Hot take. Also, it's also kind of our this week's D drama alert. Drama alert. Oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> drama. Um, <laughs> drama. So, uh, going back on last week's uh, Tifu. Phase Clan beef, you know the the contract dispute. Uh, we've got some some new information about one of the small tidbits that was in his uh, lawsuit, and that was the fact that Phase had signed an eleven year old and told his parents and him to lie and say that he was thirteen. And Whoa. people didn't really talk about this too much. Nothing really nothing really came up about this until uh, just recently. Uh, when Twitch streamed or uh, Twitch banned Phase Clan members, High Sky One, uh, w- the the High, both both the I and High has a one as well. Um, Phase Clan's youngest member, who cl- who was claiming to be 13, playing in professional Fortnite tournaments, uh, just got banned from Twitch because he is in fact 12 years old. Dun, dun, dun. And, Wow. I know, and you're not allowed to have a Twitch account unless you are 13 years old. It's true. Uh, there is... Uh, them's the rules. Now, yeah, them's so... The rules. Uh, them's the rules. He went to YouTube, at which he uh, started doing a live stream with his mom in the background, overseeing him. Uh, I, I guess, like, the hot take here is... It does... Uh, two parts. Does this look bad for FaZe? And B, does this, does it really fucking matter? <laughs> Did this, kid, this kid's 12, you know, like, doesn't matter. Also, this kid is now banned from Fortnite tournaments, for the record, until he turns 13 as well. That makes sense. And he has yeah. won, yeah. he has won $5,000 uh, in pro money in Fortnite up to this point. Dude, so, uh, he's got to be the coolest than me in the kid summer on the skirmish. playground. Play, play higher than me, it's the summer skirmish, just for the record, so. <laughs> yeah, um. So yeah, on your first take, um, wait, shit, what was it? Does it is does this look bad for Phase? Oh, absolutely. Like right. if if yeah. if this contract got signed and their lawyers like, yeah, go ahead, tell them to lie. What other things are in their contracts that shouldn't? Yeah, be? it feels like looking like, bad is Phase's look at this point. And hey, maybe they're the bad boys of esports, but yeah. you own it now. Yeah, I mean, I like that. <laughs> you know, everyone needs a heel. Yeah, <laughs> we're signing anybody. We don't care. I yeah, I like this ahead. kid though. Like just reading like the comments from this kid, I think he's pretty cool. Like he's <laughs> after he like confesses to it in this interview, he ends it with "Holy cow, finally got it off my chest." Like it's just so wholesome. It's like, "Oh, man, I, yeah. I I lied when I was a uh, when I was younger to to get a job I wasn't old enough for." So, you know what, kid? I feel you. I didn't make as much money as him, but I feel him. You know, I I think FaZe comes out looking bad in this because it was something that was named in Tifu's lawsuit. And mm-hmm. they definitely, they had to know he wasn't 13, you <laughs> yeah, know? And yeah. they were, and, and the other thing that I think makes FaZe look really bad is that they knowingly lied to Epic by entering, mm-hmm. you know, by facilitating him entering these tournaments. And so that's not a good idea when your relationship with, uh, you know, the biggest esport game in the world. On the, on the other hand, so, like, FaZe doesn't look good. On the other hand, this kid is a fucking star. <laughs> this kid is awesome. Like, that, that his, he's, like, he he's 12. He looks even younger than 12, honestly. He looks yeah. like he's, like, nine. He really does. Like, the, he looks the keyboard so looks young. so big compared to The chair to him. on him, it's, oh. it's crazy. Yeah. He's got, he's got a personality. I will give yes. him that for sure. Like, he's yes. got that streamer personality. Um, I, I took a quote from that article, um, and I, I, I want to read it. And yes, I am 12. I only lied so that I could fulfill my dream of being a streamer. 
It's been my dream for a long time, and I worked for a year and a half for it. I'm sorry I had to lie. I was too young, and it held me back. I just couldn't wait two more years. <laughs> and Yo, that's I'm like, like 10% of his life at that point. Props, kid. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, to, to me, though, like, you got your dream when, like, you had this dream, and you feel that one year of working towards it was more than enough to get it. Like, people people spend 40 years working for their dream and never get it. If it was, so, if it was a 30-year-old who said that to gonna, me, I'd, I'd be like, bull, get out of here. But I'm, yeah, I'm willing if, to accept if, it. I don't know. If, you, you just have no constant. At 12, like, two in, two years at 12 years yeah. old is, like, one-fifth your life. Yeah. Right. Yeah. When, when you put it in that way, yeah, it's, it's one, he spent one-fifth his life working towards this dream. And let's be honest, the first two years... He was a potato. So one fourth of his <laughs> actual life. Um, <laughs> <laughs> For real, like he probably didn't even like start to know things until he's five. You know, remember yeah. stuff. So this is like this is the, probably the vast majority of his life he's wanted to do it. I, yeah. I, 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 of course, that's funny to us because we're old, right? Um, and it's so hard to remember what it was like being thirteen. But like, I, I, I don't fault. I, I have, I feel, find zero fault on the kid. And I don't, yeah, I'm not blaming the kid. I I just yeah. I had to I had to bring yeah. that out just because I'm like, kid, the life that like you might be good like, th- I almost feel bad for the kid in a way, because mm-hmm. this this could be a flash in the pan for him, mm-hmm. and like, for him to achieve his dream in a year and a half, it's gonna set expectations for him in life that he might not be able to live up to, and this this does this is why I believe a lot of this stuff is age restricted, um. In certain ways, like they're protecting the children for certain reasons. Oh yeah, this, oh, yeah. I this mean, is definitely one of them. Tons of reasons yeah. why Twitch would want you to be 13 before you get on. Um, oh yeah. I, I I mean, there's I think there's a I think there's a legit maturity difference between 11 and 13 year old. There's going to be a mm-hmm. large difference in maturity, and 13 is still incredibly young, and, and obviously yeah. you'll have years and years and years to go for uh, to to be mature. But I I have no problem with the way Twitch handled it. I have no problem with Twitch saying, yeah, we got to ban you till you're 13. I have no sure. problem with Epic banning them. I have no problem with his, uh, with him going to YouTube and still streaming with his mom in the background, like supervising the whole thing. Yeah. I also have no problem with the mom, like supporting the shit out of this kid. And, and I, I find like, I'll put like 0.2% of fault on the parents for like helping, like telling the kid to lie to these 13. Um, and I'll put 99.8% of the fault on FaZe, which might be too much, but they sh- they should not have done that as a professional organization. Yeah. They should not yeah. have signed him. They could have done a million different things. Or, or if they did sign him, like just keep him not playing in those tournaments until he's 13. You know yeah, what I mean? Right. You got exactly. it. You got to yeah. follow the rules if you're a professional organization. You you should be yep. in and you should have to be following the rules. Yeah, um, it paints them as a bad a, boy for now, but it, like, does, it does. hurts their. It's definitely going to hurt their credibility in the long run. Like at some point, mm-hmm. Face Clan's going to want to be involved with some sort of project, and they'll just be denied because it's like well, you're not trustworthy. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's not. It wasn't a good look for Phase. Uh, at this, at, with all that being said, though, like the kid and the mom, and like I wish nothing but the best for this kid, and I sure. think he has a huge future. He's got 900,000 subs on YouTube, y'all. Not 900,000 people follow him. This kid's going to make That's a lot insane. of money, dude. This kid's I, doing okay. Like and and I am I'm not going to fault the parents for just going gung ho in this because all you like really all you want as a parent is for your kid to do something he's happy with and make a living, you know, yep. like be able to support himself. This kid's supporting everyone right now. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. This this is like a parent's dream in a way of their kid like yeah. being able to support them within ten years of them yeah. being born. That's crazy. Um I and I think I think Twitch and everybody else realize like it's not really the kid's fault because otherwise they'd be like, You're bad for life. Like Yeah. You, yeah, no. They're like, come back when you're thirteen, kid. Uh which is which is good. Um Dude, yeah, you know it's... you know the party his stream is gonna be when he turns thirteen. Oh too? my god. <laughs> oh my god yeah he's it's gonna be insane gonna have yeah. so uh, much I mean, dr unless, pepper and and fanta dude unless he gets really into like pogs or pokemon cars in between then and now and just completely uh, changes his his dream the only pogs this kid's into is or pog s- champ yeah <laughs> he, he, this kid is really good though i've seen him on yeah. a lot of like the Fortnite compilations he's really good he looks so young and tiny and he does curse, which is really funny because his parents are there. You know, like his parents <laughs> yeah. do watch his stream. And but he's it's 
when he curses, I'm just like, oh my God, no, please, young boy, don't do that. You know, like, please don't <laughs> yeah. do that. It, it makes me feel horrible about everything when he curses. But um, no, I mean, I, I am just all for this kid just like doing whatever he can in, yep. uh, in life. And, and like props to you, dude. Props to you for working the system. I'm not faulting you for working the system yeah. at yep. all, homie. Like, I mean, we, we all would have done it. Oh, I for feel sure. Like, like yeah. every, every single one of us would have been like, yeah, I'm yeah. 13. I'm really good yeah. at this game. <laughs> you, you know what? And props to your parents. Was it the most ethical thing you taught your child? Maybe not. But you taught him uh, a lot bigger uh, a lot bigger lesson, which is you're going to support him no matter freaking what in whatever yep. he wants to do. So uh, props to the parents. I mean, this sounds bad because I don't want to, like, f pile on FaZe Clan. Like, maybe they'll yeah. sign one of us one day. But it doesn't. It's not a good look given their uh, given what was named in the lawsuit last week. You know, yeah. um, it, everything that was said in that lawsuit last week seems to be very true. true. Yeah, it seems yeah. to be true. You know, like it, it yep. just does. Yeah, so, that's and that's the crazy thing is like more more and more stuff on them, making them look yeah. bad. Mm -hmm. It's not a good look. So yeah. Well, all right. Well, let's uh, well, this week's side questions. Yeah, so oh, boy. Uh, perfect question, actually. This comes from uh, Rated R. R. Uh, uh, P.S. Still not a pirate. <laughs> is in there. <laughs> Ex Puku. I was catching up on the past podcast, specifically your discussion and legal analysis about Tifu and his contract. As a California attorney, I thought the discussion was really well done and was roughly 98% legally accurate. Yes. Nice. That's nice. passing the bar. We yeah. passed. We're yeah. lawyers in California. We're practically oh, yeah. lawyers now. The us Holy and Kim shit. Kardashian. Yeah. All of us <laughs> oh, did she pass? Lawyers in California. No, I don't know if she's passed oh. yet. I think she's got she's got like six years of of learning before supposedly she's taking it. But oh. I bet you she passes. She's she's gonna have good tutors. You know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. With with that all with all that being said, what do you think the next legal step is for content creators slash esports athletes? Unionize, which would be difficult. Try and merge into other unions such as SAG, which which SAG would fight tooth and nail. Get the government involved and create legislation to protect the content creators or maintain st the status quo. Keep up the good work. That's hard because there's so many content creators at so many different levels, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like, the, I think the first step would have to be, like, taking some, some of the top content creators on the top platforms and, you know, figuring out how they would want to approach it and like it would take it would take someone in that position to lead the charge in my eyes i think you i think you take the low people the people that want to get their shot and you let them make the rules so that they make it so that the bigger people cannot work in this world <laughs> <laughs> i mean it, it, it it's it is it's very it's very interesting it's something i've talked about um often yep on on stream because uh you know we have we, we basically have no bargaining power you know like uh as a collective union you know there's there's are we employees of twitch are we not like i can't go stream on youtube why why doesn't that make me an employee on twitch if they have some sort of exclusive contract to my content uh wouldn't that in, uh, entitle me to some sort of health benefits or something i don't know the legalities of this not right now obviously the way it stands uh, because we don't have anyone fighting for us. We don't have any way to collectively bargain or do something like that. We have no power because we're all individuals and we're not uh, teamed up, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I, 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 you know, having that, I mean, I, I think it's, it's pretty obvious that we need something. Um, I think right now what's going to happen is you're going to see uh, agents and management companies emerge that you know, might see an opportunity to run an ethical business and get your guys treated ethically. And they'll, they'll, you know, be able to assign a lot of the biggest top talent, but you know, I, I don't, I mean, that's, that's not a solution long term, yeah. you know, like, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the solution is. All I know is that we're, we're in the wild west right now. And, um, we have a lot of people willing to undercut each other yeah it's it's an interesting world so, of content yeah. creators honestly because you're you're, yeah. you're all basically rivals of each other even when you're friends um yeah but yeah, additionally kinda. yeah and then additionally you know um anyone can come in and just like completely dominate for for what 
looks like no real reason. It's just luck based. Um, and then yeah, any twelve year old can roll in and just. Yes. <laughs> and then mind you, not only are most of most content creators, but also most of their fans, like very much in the moment, sort of like reactionary type people. So like to to have a movement to take that takes longer than a week to to go through, like people lose interest. Um, and so a group of these individuals have to maintain that interest and and really like you know work towards it because like look at look at the tifu thing like we were all into it for for a week all this stuff was coming out day in day out i was checking the twitter each day at this point i'm like oh yeah this this 12 year old thing but other than that like that was it i wasn't searching again i wasn't checking what banks was tweeting when he shouldn't be tweeting mm. you know so like we're very reactionary on stuff and we we don't take the time to 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 stay on top of a topic long enough to to make a big change and so that's that's gonna that's like a community thing that we need to get better at uh, before we can tackle something like this. I feel like. Yeah, yeah, I pretty much agree. Yeah, all right. This comes from uh, Manic T. Hmm. Hi, and he actually got this in right before he went to bed. Uh, so I, I saw him in chat. Um, hi. With everything we know about Mario Maker Two so far, what are some things that Nintendo would need to announce that would make you refuse to buy the game? Um, I'm gonna go. Uh, all funds go into Hitler Resurrection Research. <laughs> I was gonna say, it, like, all, I was gonna say it has like a, a standard swastika. <laughs> thing for me. It's gonna take. Oh, it, yeah, yeah. There's yeah, like very the only little. Costume is, the only costume yeah. is a guy in a white pointy hood. Like, yeah, oh my that, God. Would be the, that would be the things that would take me not to buy Mario Maker Two at this point. Just don't wear that costume. <laughs> no, I'm, no, yeah, I'm, no, I know. I'm probably line uh, drawn for me. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good line. Um, yeah, there's very little that they could do. Uh, it have to be incredibly racist, and like I don't see that <laughs> happening at all. <laughs> that would be a bad move, Nintendo. Or, incredibly racist too. Or, Light racism, I might still buy. It. Like, <laughs> would it be a pro move? Pro no. Move. Well, that'd be ridiculous. <laughs> I'm just like, naked naked but how about tanks? <laughs> Every about time you pipes? beat yeah. a level, a child dies. I wouldn't buy it. Oh, yeah, nope. that, there's nope. there's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, that that's that's a good one. All pipes are naked pipes. You can't actually put them on the ground. I still play it. You have to get a full blown enema before you can play. Yeah, uh, I I would definitely consider. Yeah, yeah. I probably um, would do it too. I'm yeah. just like, yeah, I'd do it too. By Dr. Mario. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, you have to, Let's you have to take a suppository from Dr. Mario before you play. He, he, I'm just imagining he like scans you. He's like, oh, there's a lot of red and the blue ones up there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's there's really not a lot. Anything racist, anything that you know. Yeah, it would have to be it would have to be something really horrible. It would have to, to be get me not to buy. And yeah. they would have to advertise it. They would have to advertise this thing like like new features, you know, like yeah. slopes, new costumes, new backgrounds, swastikas. Like it would have to be like in the middle of the trailer for me to be like, well, that's no. You're, I'm you're not just gonna imagine that. that video. Like you're all excited for all these things. That swastika. You're like, what? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I kind of want to see that video now, but I also don't because that means someone would create it. Dude, I had a guy who tried oh at a party. God. He tried to convince me that there was swastikas in the original SMW. I'm like, I think I would know. I think I would know. I buddy. think I would have noticed that. Yeah, I think I would have noticed that. Well, they kind of have that one in The Legend of Zelda. Like, it's like a, a kind of half one, the map that looks yeah. like one. I don't yeah. think I but know. I th it's also an old Japanese symbol, though. Yeah, uh, isn't there some yeah, sort of Buddhist I, symbol? It was a Buddhist that, yeah, there, yeah. It's, it's been used multiple times. Yeah, um, it's easy so to yeah, draw. I'm sure it's been used a couple man, times. In exactly. Uh, people just ruin everything. Yeah, you know? everything can be linked back to racism. Yeah. <laughs> Even it's been Mario's going on for red a long hat. Time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's been going oh. on for a long time, so that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah, Mario Maker 2 is, is a very good, it's a very big must-buy for me. Yeah. 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 All right. We got one more, and this comes from our Twitch chat, WWEFK. At what point do you feel you got your money's worth out of a game? I have several games that I have less than 10 hours in and feel they were a waste of money at this point. Um, I, I mean, yeah. 
I, I don't think I don't equate like time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Time is time is very um, like it does. Time doesn't matter to me at all as far as like game is concerned. Uh, I, I, I don't like I'm, I'm trying to think like there's been games where I've played for two and a half hours. Like Limbo is a game that is like super fast. What was the sequel to Limbo? I can't remember what it was called now. Inside. Inside yeah. is a game that took me like three hours, cost 20 bucks. It was one of the best 20 bucks I've ever spent. Um, and then there's something like, uh, you know, The Witcher 3, which is, you know, countless amount of hours. And I think fucking sucked, and I wish I would have never bought it. Yeah. Um, so I got mine for not, free for some reason. Yeah, it's Micro, not really. Micro Center sent me a code. Micro Center? Yeah, they said, they're like, hey, you bought a video card. Here's your free Witcher 3. I'm like, <laughs> I didn't buy a video card. It's Micro Center. But thanks. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's not it, hours doesn't matter to me. It's literally how much enjoyment did I get from this particular yeah. piece of entertainment? Did this leave me with a lasting impression? Something that I can, you know, go home on and mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely a big fan of getting value out of my purchases. Like if I like that's like what held me back from purchasing the latest Mortal Kombat. I want to play it. I don't want to spend 80 bucks to play it. Canadian prices obviously but um that but like if it's a game i'm really i'm really into if it's something i really want to play like undertale is a good example of a short game that i definitely don't regret picking up it was one of it was mm-hmm. one of the best games like one of the best games i've ever played yeah and it's you know it, it was like 15 bucks if they charged me 45 i wouldn't be upset about that either mm-hmm. yeah 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 it all depends I mean, any game it, you could you spend 20 minutes on it and be like, this was worth it. Or you could spend 100 hours on it and be like, man, I just wasted 100 hours of my life on this game. Yeah. Like, it's important to know, like, yourself as a gamer. You got to know, like, what kind of games you like, what kind of art style music and all that stuff. Like, once you know what kind of things you're into, you can pretty much pick up any games in those genre, provided they're, like, not shit, and you'll have a good time. Yeah. Um, cool. how, what's Okay, better question here. I got a question. How, what is the maximum price you would pay for Mario Maker 2? For Mario Maker? For Mario Maker 2. Mario Maker 2, the maximum that? price? Ooh. I would easily pay $2,500 for Mario Maker 2. Wow. Yeah, I, if I had to drop a grand, I'd drop a fat grand. I'd, I'd drop a stack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a stupid amount of money for it. But, I mean, I, I have to say, like, Mario Maker 1, I've played more than almost any other game. Um, so, yeah, like... 2500 probably probably about the maximum um yeah like I mean, that'd be my number where i'm like mm, yeah do it yeah like because i mean for us for us it's it's our our job in a way mm-hmm. to to play that game and and do it on stream so for the average viewer and whatnot probably you know you're looking at like 200 dollars max they're like i can't mm-hmm. i can't spend more than the system yeah yeah costs, that's what it is for um, like i'm thinking thousand dollars that's i'll get return on investment on that yeah I, I, I don't know how I've spent three and a half years on Mario. Like, I know how, but, like, at the same time, like, I have not played many games that long. Like, honestly, like, Final Fantasy XI was the only other game I can think of where I've played for more than two years straight of a yeah. game, and that's an MMO. And Mario Maker is not an MMO. It's all but, thanks to P-Break. <laughs> yeah, I will. yeah, for sure. P-Break's definitely one of the reasons. Just the game itself is fun, but I think, yeah, Twitch definitely made it fun. Yeah. So. Crowd control oh. doesn't exist without P break. Think about that. Oh. <laughs> wow. We're not giving Panga money. <laughs> Suck it, Sorry, Panga. Panga. <laughs> We're right. keeping it. I, I think right, that's gonna be it. it. Yep. Episode, episode 99. 99. In the books. Wow. Coming up next week, episode 100, which is probably gonna feature Jaku and X I think I missed episode fifty or seventy five too, which is. Really I think funny. he did too. Yeah. Yeah. There yeah, was one other. Was another, there was one other big one that I missed. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know what? It's 69. it's live from the E E three floor, and and it's it just. It's a milestone. It's, it's perfect. It's a milestone. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. 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 Saves us we the planning too. We're sitting poop. here like, well, what do we do for episode one hundred? It's like, oh, well, guess what <laughs> happened to work in our lap. Dude, I love how that worked <laughs> out today. You just pop into stream. You're like, yo, check Discord right now. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. See you guys next week. Have a fantastic oh, everything. Bye. <laughs> fantastic everything. <laughs>